uh, of uh, the project. But before all, uh, we would like to introduce uh, uh, all the partners. So uh, after that, we are going to um, speak about why are we doing the project and how. And then there will be a brief project description and uh, um, we can see how associate partners will help the project and what can be the roles uh, for the associate partners, how they can help the project to be successful. And there will be uh, a session of uh, uh, Q&A at the end, um, so you can uh, write all your questions uh, and uh, we are going to answer you because we are now uh, with um, all uh, uh, partners here and uh, in fact you can see the uh, name of our partners and the partner institutions um, in uh, the next slide. Uh, my name is Teresa, Teresa Monaco and I work for the Mosaic Art and Sound and we are coordinating the project. We are based in London and our organization is mainly involved in uh, uh, training um, in education and especially um, using music as a new source of education. Um, and then uh, we have all the other partners which you are, who are, you are going to see now. Uh, hello everybody, uh, I'm Joel Josephson, uh, I think some of you actually know me, thank you very much for joining us, I'm from the Kinder site in the UK, and passing on to the next. Paolo from uh, London, uh, the Mosaic Art and Sound, passing next. <laughs> <laughs> hello everybody, my name is Dasha Pelikanova and I am uh, from Language School based in Brno, Czech Republic. Hello everybody. I'm Susana Gomez from Spain. I work for the University of Valladolid. Thanks for joining us today and welcome on board <coughs> of this fantastic research project. Hello, I'm Emine Chakush. Uh, I'm representing Warm Greetings from London. Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Simon and I'm starting working with you join us. Hi everybody, my name is Cinzia, I'm from Italy and I Hello and guten Tag everybody, I'm Armin from Berlin in Germany, Armin too. Hope you enjoy the greetings and so now uh, we can go straight to the presentation, the project presentation. And I will ask you um, for your attention since uh, um, it is uh, um, a bit complex but simple in itself. The idea is very, very simple. Why um, we decided to have this kind of project, this specific project. Uh, we all know that teenagers love music. Uh, music is one of their uh, main area of interest in, uh, in their lives. So we know that they spend so much time listening to music and listening to their own music. Um, and uh, deciding which music they like is uh, a very essential part of their life. So we wanted to be close to teenagers and to try to expand their love for uh, languages, their awareness of European languages, but about, apart from awareness, also a bit of love for languages. And in fact, we wanted to transfer this uh, um, idea of uh, learning new languages and being aware of new, uh, of new languages using their uh, specific loved uh, music. And the idea was that, uh, that teenagers could decide um, upon a song that they love, then using the song, um, and uh, creating new lyrics for the song. Then um, performing their song, singing it or playing some instruments as well and providing a video clip that could be filmed and uploaded on, uh, on the project website. So, children, so teenagers will uh, provide for uh, um, a, a video with their performance with this song, with new lyrics in their own language, 
and then new lyrics, the new lyrics translated into their target language. Suppose they are studying English, they will translate, they are students in Turkey studying English, they will translate their song from Turkish into English. And then they will provide a recording, video recording, especially possibly, with their, um, their performance uh, in Turkish and in English. And they will upload on the website, on the um, uh, project web properties. Students in another area of Europe will see their video uploaded on the website and they will translate the lyrics from their peers in, in Turkey, for instance, into another language, into their own language. So, for instance, in Czech Republic, they will, uh, they will listen to the uh, recording, to the video, they will watch the video, and they will translate the lyrics into their own language. And then they will provide their own performance uh, with instruments and singing in their own language, and they will upload uh, the result, the video on, um, on the website. This means that actually um, we shall have so many resources on the website, and we shall have songs from uh, students across Europe exchanging and learning in the process, because they will learn uh, many things about. Uh, their own language, uh, how this can be uh, adapted for a, a melodic line, uh, their target language, the language that they're studying, they're studying English, for instance, and they will know how to adapt um, uh, an English text, English lyrics to a melodic, a specific melodic line. Uh, and they will sing in another language, which is especially a less widely spoken, a less uh, taught language, European language, because this is at the core of the project, actually. So through this exchange, they will learn how to be creative writer, because they will uh, focus on writing lyrics and adapting words to the song. Um, sometimes a word could be too long for a specific uh, um, melodic line. They will have to find a short word or a, a word with another sound. So there will be a lot of uh, um, research into their own text. And this research will uh, enable them to deepen the language, to get familiar with the language. And then the beauty is that they will listen and they will watch two videos they will watch videos from other peers, other students in Europe, singing their own songs, their own lyrics. So it's a great exchange. And in all this exchange, there's an exchange of cultures, languages, and ideas. And especially we are using um, something that they uh, do love. As you can see from our presentation, we, um, we are going also to prepare um, documents to help teachers and students in completing the project. <clears throat> Sorry. The pedagogic team within the partnership will uh, provide for some guidelines for teachers and guidelines for students. Um, the guidelines for students will be certainly graphically rich and multimedia. Um, and they will uh, know how to perform the project, the steps of the project, how to make this exchange with other um, students in other countries, and how to provide, how to create a video out of that performance, how to um, upload uh, transcripts, uh, transcriptions and uh, um, all the lyrics that they are going to create and all the materials. And especially they will also, um, they will also give us feedback uh, with pre and post questionnaires so we, we know um, uh, to which extent our project has been relevant for them to acquire love of, um, of uh, less widely spoken languages. And, uh, and this is basically the project. In, this is in very, very short line. This is a, a, a summary of the project, of course, because there are many aspects involved also from our side as uh, 
facilitator. One of the most important uh, um, aspects of the project is that uh, at the heart of the project are the beneficiaries, the secondary school students. The important aspect is that the students will own the project. This is their collaborative project to use, enjoy, and gain motivation from. The methodology and the involvement of educators in the project will be built to enable this autonomy and especially um, uh, teachers will be as facilitators of this. Uh, so they will give guidelines, but uh, uh, teenagers will be quite free to choose uh, um, the song and to choose how they want to do the performance and uh, uh, what they want to show uh, their friends uh, across Europe. That's basically um, the concept of, uh, of the project. And uh, we would like very much to share these ideas with you because we would like to uh, gain experience from your experience as well. So we can uh, join and we can uh, um, enrich and understand even better what can be uh, the, uh, the outcomes and how can we reach successful outcomes uh, out of this uh, very unique idea actually. The project will include, uh, talking about project workflow and outcomes, the project will include research into the field of music and language learning. And uh, there will be um, a repository of information that we are going to uh, upload uh, in the uh, project website. And this will be, this will be uh, an open uh, resource. Uh, preparation of the tools for piloting, development of a complete set of resources that will be subjected to two phases of piloting, guides, videos, analysis, piloting the resources, initial and large scale piloting, final developments of the materials, of the guides, workshops for language teachers, which will take place online and offline, Completion of a set of tools to permit replication, case studies, methodologies, web properties, dissemination and sustainability, quality assurance practices will be used throughout the project during the two-year project. The project lasts, in fact, two years. And it started the 1st of November 2011 and will end 30th of October 2013. The project milestones are very simple following the description that we had and they will include creating the resource repository, developing the piloting materials, completing initial pilots, completing large scale pilots, completing the replication documents and teacher training workshop. These are the milestones and these are basically our great um, goals in, uh, in, in our project to achieve. The project is, um, um, is divided in work packages. Each work package follows the, the previous one, and there are some work packages which uh, last the, the whole duration, the whole project life. Um, I don't know how much you are um, aware of uh, European project processes, but basically um, each project has work packages um, in the European Union or outside European Union projects. So um, the work packages of uh, a popular project uh, are project management, which will last the whole uh, duration, research on the use of music in language teaching, Preparation for piloting, piloting, initial piloting, large scale piloting, case studies, methodology guide for replicability, workshop for language teachers, quality assurance, dissemination, and exploitation. Um, within these work packages, we can find many ways to liaise with you and to work together. And we would like to share. The, the project with you. Uh, we would like to give you visibility on the website. We would like to uh, know your ideas. 
we would like to uh, to know um, your uh, um, your feeling about the project, your perception of uh, how things can develop, your experience with teenagers in schools, uh, because there are some areas we are discussing also in this kickoff meeting, such as uh, um, freedom, students' freedom. Yeah. Uh, we, we would like to give uh, students uh, uh, freedom to choose anything they like in their... Uh, at the same time, we would like to be sure that we can have some guidelines behind. So there are so many issues that we would like to share and to receive also feedback from you. Um, Joel is going to explain um, much um, more in detail how uh, associate partner can be part of the project and the areas where you can uh, uh, share your expertise with us. And uh, I'm very glad to, um, to give you now uh, some uh, ideas about this through um, Joel's speech. And uh, we are going to, uh, I'm going to talk to you later, just after uh, Joel. Also have questions and answer. Um, Thank you very much for your attention. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk about how associate partners can be involved in the project. But before I do that, uh, can I ask everybody if they don't mind to actually write in where they're from and uh, which country and what institution, if you don't mind sharing that with us. Uh, it would be very nice to know who we're talking to. Um, I think uh, Raki, somebody, uh, Anne Preston just asked uh, where this is coming from. We're actually in a hotel in North London, uh, which was very famous because it was where the England football team stayed the night before they won the World Cup. I think it's its only claim of, to fame, but that's where we are. And uh, we must probably sitting in the room where they ate dinner before. That's not true, but it sounds good. All right, so what I'm going to talk about is the role of the associate partners. Now, in this project, we see where you can have some very deep involvement, and we very much want your, your involvement and your opinions. And we've identified six areas where we think you can help. And I'm going to sort of just quickly read through those areas, and then I'm going to go a little bit further into that more deeply. But I think what we're very interested in at this stage of the project, this beginning stage of the project, is how your questions and your thoughts on these areas uh, and how you think you could be involved or if you need more information. Because, uh, you know, this is a two-way street. Uh, so, first of all, I just run through them just as a list, uh, disseminating the project in your local area, contributing to the resources of the project, contributing to our research part of the project. Then you could help with piloting the initial resources there, the draft of the project, the, where we want to test that our ideas are right. Uh, using the final project uh, projects, products of the project when they're all ready. And finally, and this is I think where we want to go even further with this project, is adapting the project that's being developed for secondary school students to other age groups and how you think about those areas and those possibilities. So I'm going to go a little bit deeper into all of those. And it starts off with dissemination. Now, dissemination is the European term I think you all know for marketing, i.e. letting people know about this project. And obviously, the more people who are involved and the more schools that use these resources, the better it is, we hope, for everybody. Now, as a team, we will supply you with presentations and articles some of them will be uh, translated into the languages of the project. Some may be, because they won't be very long, maybe you would like to translate yourselves and help us in that area. And you can use those, art, those materials uh, to distribute to teachers in their schools, or your schools, uh, the local authority you're in, or the national authority, teacher associations that you may be involved in. They could be local, national, or international even. And even the local press, because, you know, these European projects are big news as far as education is concerned across Europe. Um, so that's step one. Step two. Uh, when we produce materials for these projects, we always test them. And the further and the larger we can do that testing, 
the better. But even more important is what we actually produce. And I think this is where we very much like your opinions and your ideas. And what we're proposing is that we will take the documentation and the ideas that we build and put them into, let's say, a Yahoo group or a Google group that we'll put together with the associate partners where you can comment and give us your ideas. Maybe in your area, in your local area, there's particular issues that we're not aware of. And you can contribute in that way there. Now, as we mentioned, one of the first work packages we're going to be doing, the first one actually uh, it was, we're doing at this moment is research. And we want to build up a body of information on how music is being used in, um, in, in education. Now, we obviously can do that research, but you may have some information that we don't know about. And also ways of doing things that you have already tried. And all this could be extremely interesting and extremely helpful to the project. And what we'll do is uh, I'll be writing to everybody afterwards and saying who would like to help in this area. And then we will send you the templates that we're making that you can complete to give us your suggestions for this area of the project. Now, within the project proposal, within the plan that we submitted to the European Union, we actually uh, do have a piloting uh, methodology set out. But what we'd also be interested in doing is letting you autonomously try out those draft resources. Because the more information, the more people who test our work, then hopefully the better our work will be. Um, but the idea of the project is that we build up a set of tools that will allow educators and schools across Europe to use the resources autonomously. So what we would like the associate partners to do is actually autonomously partner, uh, pilot the resources that we make and then to give your feedback, your ideas on what we've produced before we go and produce the final set of resources which we'll be giving out to educators all over Europe. This is a bit obvious. Once we've finished doing our piloting, once we've adapted to any ideas and changes that need to be done, we'll have the final set of resources. And of course, we'd very much like you to use those. And again, give us feedback uh, on that. One of the things we didn't mention, I think, yet is that all the videos that we hope the kids are going to, uh, the students are going to be making, we would like them to be uploaded onto the internet, where other schools and other students can actually use those resources themselves to make their songs and their videos. So it's sort of an interactive process across Europe. So the more that's involved, the more interesting that will be. Now, the final area is something that I think would not come along till further down the line, maybe in the second year of the project. Now, this project is designed for, we are building resources for students the ages of 14 to 16 years. But we believe there's a real potential to adapt those resources to other levels of education. I don't think they could be exactly the same way uh, because we're going to be very targeted at the needs of this age group. But I think it can be adapted. And again, if you're involved in other areas of education, your ideas, your thoughts, and your suggestions would be very welcome. And maybe we could even set up working groups to actually do that adaptation with your help. So I think that's, that's the end of uh, my little bit. Um, and at this stage, what we really are very interested in is um, your questions um, on what we've spoken about. Uh, I, I hope, yeah, I'm, I'm checking the sound, uh, Rakesh. Is it any better? We are checking. Uh, is, have other people got problems with the sound? Yeah, we've got quite a lot of people in the webinar, so um, it could be that. Of course, you know, okay, sometimes. All right, so, so let's go into the questions and answers. Um, have any, has anybody got any questions or would like some uh, thoughts and ideas? Multiple attendees are typing, so please put in those, answers, those questions. Anybody like my shirt? <laughs> okay, can you... Um, Maybe, Catalina, you could write about what you've done uh, in the chat. And meanwhile, 
uh, we can answer. About the website address, uh, because this is the kickoff uh, project, um, we don't actually have a website right at this stage, but I'm going to be putting into the chat in a second the actual website address where we will be putting a website within the next few weeks where obviously you'll find a lot of the information we've talked about and um, and again uh, you, you'll see where we're going. Okay, Palace Program. Meanwhile, we do have a Facebook group that you can uh, join. Can somebody put the Facebook group link in, please? Can you put the Facebook group in? Uh, okay, so we're going to put it in the Facebook group as well, where we will be posting news as we go along at the moment. Okay, um, so, so that's that. Okay, questions? Any other questions? Have we got well-known singer musicians involved? Um, the idea of this project, actually, Rakesh, uh, it's a good question, is that the the students actually do the singing. That they choose the song that they want to use. And it could be rap, it could be Lady Gaga, it could be anything they like. And they actually write their own lyrics and sing the song themselves using that song. So we're not going to be using or specifying any particular song or uh, music or any particular singer. But we very much want, you know, the, the, as we said, this is very much about the students owning the project and owning the resource. So it's very much a question of them uh, choosing. Okay, I'm just reading. Is, would it, uh, I'm asked uh, by Catherine, is, would this be a problem for language teachers to fit this in? I think, you know, it's one of those things, uh, you know, when you're trying to do something innovative in uh, education, it's always a question, how does this fit in? Um, I think this project, is because it's very much a student orientated project where the teachers in a sense are facilitators rather than explaining the project. The idea is, is that you would explain and show the project to the students, show them where the tools are, and then in a sense it's in their hands. Now in other projects we've actually seen the students do this at weekends outside of school. It's not a project that needs to be done particularly in school. If the school can support them, say with audio equipment or video equipment, that would be great. But, you know, it's not like you have to sit in, stand in front of uh, uh, the class and, um, you know, actually uh, uh, teach this. Uh, Dr. Preston and Preston asks, how are you fusing music and language learning? Well, what we've really done here is we're using the, the, the students' own music as a motivator to do a language exercise. So they take the music that is meaningful to them, that they listen to, and um, they write their own song in their native language, as Teresa explained, and then translate that into their target language and then sing it again. So that's where the elements are sort of coming together. And of course, then we'd share across Europe with other schools, which you know gives it another motivation where they're working with students from other, other countries. Uh, Rakesh asked about uh, students, uh, special needs students, disabilities. And um, it, it, to be honest, it, because this is very much sort of a, a language, it's, it's a project that doesn't, I think children with physical disabilities, it's not a problem. Obviously with other disabilities, I don't really know much about that area. And I don't know if anybody does know anything about special needs and language learning. It's not, to be honest, I'm not really a good person to answer that, so I can't say. Um, okay, uh, Rita actually asked a question we actually asked here, which is, um, is it necessary to use popular already created music of students' uh, music, or are students allowed to create their own music and lyrics? And we actually spoke about this, and we would think it would be great if the students actually wrote their own song and, and played that, and wrote their own music, sorry, rather than adapting an existing music. You know, and all this will be written into the uh, resources, you know, that, that, that area. You know, if they want to write their own song, we'd love that. we really like that. But again, we've got to make this accessible to as many students as possible. And maybe some are not capable of that or don't know to do that. So obviously, it's a choice that the students can make themselves, which way they want to go. I hope that answers that. Just going back up, I missed that one. 
Catherine asked, would it, be, would it need collaboration with music teachers as well to provide resources, equipment, etc.? Well, as you already have understood, this is cross-curricular in some ways, this project. And I, we see this, the teachers, as I said, as facilitators. Now, if the school has those sort of resources to help the kids record and to video, that would be really great because it just makes that a little bit easier for them. I think they could do it on themselves to some extent because most of the students this age are already recording and making videos with their, with their phones already. But still, you know, to raise the level, to raise the level of accessibility, then I think it would be great if uh, the language teachers who may start the process actually bring in other teachers as well in from the music department if it's possible. So the answer is, I, I hope so with that one. Okay, um, okay deadlines. Um, the only real deadline at this stage um, is, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm going up and down the chat here trying to find the, the question. Deadline. Uh, Daniela asked about deadlines. The, the only real deadline at this stage of the project, we, we do have a very strict time uh, base, but we're not under heavy pre pressure at the moment. The only one where we do have it, we've got to get finished quite soon, is this research part of the project, where we'll uh, need to gather these resources to build up this um, uh, a, a repository of uh, documentation about uh, how music has been used in, uh, how does it fit in with the curriculum? Uh, that's a very good question, and I, I, I don't really see it as directly a curricular um, project, it's not very, it's not totally focused because the project is about motivation. It's about bringing an area of the student's life that's very meaningful in the students into the, uh, into their learning, um, into their education as a motivational tool. So um, I think, you know, it possibly, again, I think that would be an interesting area to get some feedback on uh, how does it fit in with the curriculum at Crumbs. Um, I may have missed um, some questions. Can anybody in the room here, uh, my team in the room, give me any questions I may have missed, please? I've been doing a lot of talking. We'll be able, oh, Catherine says she'll be able to find a local school for Pali. That'd be brilliant. That'd be really nice. Thank you. Okay, Anne. Yeah. Well, uh, Anne, you, you say, and thank you very much, you say you may be able to find some uh, Modern foreign language curriculum connections for your research review. That would be extremely helpful. Very, very nice. Um, and as I say, uh, what we'd like to do here is, um, if you, uh, we, I will be writing to everybody here. I think I have everybody here uh, on the list who's in this webinar, and we'll ask you who wants to help out with that area. So um, somebody could actually write down that uh, Dr. Preston would like to help with that research. Are there any other, yes, people are still typing, so I'm going to wait for your uh, questions. Is there any other further questions, please? Um, we will be holding further webinars on the project, and also once the website is on, we'll be talking further about uh, these ideas of how you can be involved and making that more concrete. Um, and we will do these webinars at each of our project meetings. So you can stay in touch with us in a more uh, detailed way. Um, oh yes, about yes. Sorry, I missed a question about copyright. Yeah, we are actually looking into the area of copyright. We believe, um, and we actually already have opened discussions with the copyright authorities in the UK. Um, we believe that it's possible to take out a group license for the whole project at an international level. So there's no problem with the copyright. But one of the things we do know is that we cannot take the original music. Let's say, uh, for instance, it's um, a Lady Gaga song. We can't take the music from Lady Gaga and use that. We can play that music and sing on top, and then there, it's a lot less problematic. But we will be dealing with that uh, copyright. And obviously, it's a, it's a very core part of the project, so we must, that will be dealt with properly, so there won't be any problems there. The PowerPoints, yes, um, as soon as the website is up, we will be putting these PowerPoints up on the website, so you can uh, take them down, and again, I'll announce that to all the associate partners and to the 
on the Facebook group when the website is ready and those resources are ready. Um, once the website is up, the communication will be a bit easier. Okay. Catalina, could you actually send email privately rather than just on the group? Oh, you've done it. Okay, thank you for putting your email on the group. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, Guido, take your son to the football. Very important. Okay, um, so I'm going to stop now and let Teresa close. Yeah. And uh, I'll just say thank you very much for your interest. Thank you for joining us. And obviously, we'll be uh, taking this further and giving more information as the project builds and goes ahead. Um, that's uh, going to be just going to let uh, thank you very much. And I'm going to hand over back to Teresa. Thanks. <clears throat> Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, it has been uh, uh, an excellent uh, time to spend with you. And, uh, um, and we hope to get in touch during the next uh, uh, few days also to share the documents that you asked. And uh, we are very pleased to share um, and to update all uh, uh, the work we're doing during these days and the work we're doing um, in the next few days. Um, so there's uh, plenty of uh, um, opportunities to cooperate within this project. And the first work package we are developing is the research. Susanna from Valladolid University mm -hmm. is going to provide uh, a, a final templates that we uh, uh, final templates that we can use for the research, and we can all use the same templates. Um, now we are going to forward all this information uh, through the uh, project website, which will be ready in the next two, three days. So if you keep uh, um, an eye on the, on the website, you will find all the information. And uh, um, certainly um, we are just preparing um, our guides for uh, teachers and for students. And we are now in the process of sharing ideas uh, on how to uh, complete the best products um, for this. And we are going to ask for your, um, for your ideas as well. Uh, so we, uh, we will get in touch with you um, through uh, Joel's uh, um, email, Facebook. Uh, uh, please follow the Facebook as well, because we are going to upload my information on Facebook directly as well. So thank you very much for your time, and uh, we hope to see you sometimes, uh, not only just to uh, speak together um, and chat, but also to see, uh, to see you. So thank you very much for your time and for your interest in the project. I'm just putting in an email address. Uh, can you, you can decide? send your email addresses. No. Uh, no, no, don't decide? put can, No, do not okay. put can decide. Um, sorry. Second, yes, just that's kidding. an email address that now we share where you can uh, uh, send, please, your email so we can get uh, in touch also directly um, with, with the direct communication okay. afterwards. And write to uh, then Joel Josephson at joeljosephson.org. So uh, the information is there. Thank you very much and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Bye. 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 Bye.